So here we're testing sublimation pins. These are stainless steel pin tubes and coated for sublimation. So the image I printed was 1.4 inches wide by 4.8 inches tall, but you're, you're gonna wanna measure these yourself and um, get your own measurements because everybody you know, has a preference if y'all like that seam really close, if you like it to overlap a little bit. So just get one of the fabric measuring tapes or the, you know, the, the measuring tapes that you measure like your body mass with, the flexible ones, and um, measure each item that you're sublimating for your own preferred measurements. So here I'm just taping all the way up and all the way down with heat tape, just making sure that there's no air in between. <coughs> Excuse me. And I did overlap the ends a little bit, just like you would on a tumbler, and kind of bend them down. Now, something I am going to say on the pins is that you do want to um, line your image up. So just kind of make sure you know which part is the front of the pin and the back of the pin. And line your image up the way you want it to be. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I heat taped it. So see, that's the, that's the back part and that's the front part. All right, now here's a shrink wrap. So I'm going to shrink wrap this real quick with my heat gun. And this is what it's gonna look like after. So see, this is all shrink wrap. And it's ready to put in the oven. So I do turbo convection 375 and I do bake this for four minutes inside my convection oven. And this is how it came out. All right, and that's it.